Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Lego Harry Potter years one through four. In the last episode, we completed the first year by getting the Sorcerer's Stone from Professor Quirrell, who was being taken over by Voldemort. Lots of crazy stuff was happening. Be sure to go check it out. But for right now, we are going to be moving to year two, or at least that's the idea. Uh, let's find out together. Oh, so Harry's waking up. He fainted after Voldemort was going crazy. Oh, wait. Uh, he's over here. Who's this guy? Is it a chess piece? I think it's a chess piece. Awkward. I got the stone. I guess Dumbledore will take it. Oh, and here Ron and Hermione. Oh wow, did we get, what are those, candy? I guess it is. Hooray, candy! Uh, <laughs> oh, they're the jelly beans that do random things. Cool. All right, well, there we go. The first year is a success. Oh, and now we get the credits. <laughs> Whoops, I guess I was supposed to see this last episode. Uh, we'll just take a skip on that for now, but there we go, that was the first year completed. I was supposed to see that at the end of the last episode, sorry. But now we're gonna be moving into year two, I can only imagine. Uh, we'll find out together. Whenever it's done loading. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in year two, because I honestly don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure we'll find out as we go along. Oh yeah, here we are at the Leaky Cauldron. So as you can see, begin year two. And there's a bunch of stuff to do in year two. Let's go ahead and figure it out. Should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So back again at Harry's house. The Dursleys are being mean to him, saying no magic in the house. <laughs> Sending him back to his little cupboard room. Oh no, did he get a room upstairs now? Oh yeah, that's right, he got a room upstairs. And oh no, who is this? You are definitely magical. Get out of here. You're from Hogwarts. You don't go to Hogwarts. Well, Harry's gonna go to Hogwarts. Now get out of here. Oh, no, 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 stop it. Uh-oh, they have company over too. <laughs> stop it, what are you doing? Oh, and he fainted. You are making as much noise as possible. What is this? You've been hiding his mail, haven't you? <laughs> that was a plot line that I guess we're supposed to know. What are you doing? No, 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 don't do it. His name's Dobby, by the way. He's supposed to explain that too, but he can't speak right now. Oh, no! Not good. Oh, Dobby. Oh no. He is not happy. Oh. And now he barred up the windows? That is not good. So now we can't get any mail. Oh, great. But oh, they, oh, somebody's coming. What is with the flying car? Oh, hi, Ron. Um, whoa, whoa! That was a little bit much, don't you think? Okay, we're getting in. Come on! Usually, I think last time, like the actual books, oh gosh, we're caught. It was like him and his brothers, actually. Let's get out of here! I guess Ron can drive a flying car. Whoa, oh no! Yikes. So it looks like Harry is off to live with Ron for the rest of the summer because I think the Dursleys didn't want him to go back to Hogwarts. They were gonna keep him barred up in his room or something. I don't really remember. But here we are. So what was with Dobby saying Harry shouldn't go back to Hogwarts? I don't know. Oh, she is not happy. That's Ron's mother. Oh. Oh, who is that? Ron's little sister. All right, well here we are, flu powder. Yeah, that's what we're learning next, I guess, is to use flu powder. Hello. Oh, this is their house, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really crazy house. Sort of what I thought it would be. A little bit different, but still really cool. Let's go inside. Yep, we're at the burrow. And then that was still Ron's little sister. I think she likes Harry. Whoa, it's, it's very soapy around here. This is cool. They're really cool. Um, Can we jump over this? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I can maybe, yeah, here we go. Leviosa, fix the faucet really quickly. And there's bubbles all over the place. 
But all the dishes wash themselves. Isn't that wonderful? Of course, that's how it was for me. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Don't have to worry about washing dishes anymore. Alrighty, now we can move forward. And there's a fountain couch. Whoa. That was weird. Oh, yeah, there's a little, uh... I don't know what they are. They're garden gnome things. Evil gnomes. There we go. They're all over their house. Hello, did we save you? I guess we were playing hide and seek or something. Can I play as you now? Yeah, I can. So we're playing as Ginny, of course, uh, Ron's little sister. Oh, hello. I was saying hi to the picture. Whole bunch of them. And what is that? Some kind of funnel or something? Oh, she can't do magic yet. Yeah, she she has. She's gonna be a first year at Hogwarts this year, right? Or maybe next year. No, I think it's this year. What's going on now? Oh, that's the flu powder. So what happens is you throw the flu powder down and you think about where you want to go because every fireplace that's connected to the flu powder system you can teleport to with the flu powder. Whoa, 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 whoa! But if you're not doing it right, you might end up in the wrong place like he just did. So they were trying to go back to Diagon Alley so that they could get their wizarding stuff. But where is he now? Who knows? Oh gosh, this place is spooky. Is it just a hand? Ah! Yeah, no, his hands! Scary, oh no. Who's that? Oh no! Uh, oh, it's just Hagrid. Hey, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Much better. That part didn't actually happen in the books. So here we are. We're in, I guess, just somewhere. I guess some kind of store or something. But Hagrid's here, so that's at least good. What is this doing? Who knows? I guess we're just blowing up these heads. Oh, gosh. Too big. Whoa. That gave us some studs at the least. Ah, evil treasure chest. No, thank you. I just wanted my studs back. Run it away. Run it away. There's a giant hand over here. What do we do with this? It's like a salt shaker or something. I have no clue what's going on. Oh, it's an aquarium. Okay, yeah, let the fish breathe water. That's it. That's much better. I don't know what that did for us, though. <laughs> There's a guy being chased by a dragon over here. Maybe we should do something about that if we can. Oh, give me a bunch of studs again. All right. Yeah, so what can we do around here? There's a lock over this way, so we can't quite get out just yet. This poor guy's being chased up there. There's nothing I can do about it. I can use the broom. Oh, I can clean up this mirror. Oh, I see. Now we know that there is, if we can squeeze back there. Yep, there's a little thing right over this way. It's invisible, except for in the mirror. Weird. Um, so maybe there's something we can build with the Leviosa, with a levitate spell. I mean, either one of them can do it. Maybe there's not enough pieces just yet. Maybe we gotta keep doing stuff. I don't know if this is gonna do much, but might as well try it. There we go. Actually, there were a couple of pieces, but they didn't do anything. Weird. What about over here? Oh, there's something. Oh, it's a little cane and top hat. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Very silly. But not what I was supposed to do. Oh, oh, I can break this. And all those pieces are still here, so maybe I can use that? There has to be more I can do, though. Because if not, I'm totally clueless already, which is not a good start. Maybe I can just break the hand? Nope. It has to be with this lock, or maybe the treasure chest. Yeah, be with the treasure chest then. Don't want to attack me anymore. Oh, there we go. Now all the pieces combined. All right, Harry. Let's see what this makes. I can't even see from this angle. It made a sword, which maybe I can give to you so that you can fight the dragon. The puzzle is solved. Yeah, he has the key. Oh, yikes. That hurts. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so there is that key. And let's put that into the key slot. Well, there we go. And let's go out. Are we in Diagon Alley now? Yes, we are. So we just go, go, went to the wrong shop at Diagon Alley. And can I get through this? 
I don't know, I don't think so. Maybe I'm supposed to go some other way? Whoa. Oh, okay, we fixed the lamp. There has to be something we can do here. I can break that, ah! We are jack in the box. There's another one over this way. <laughs> so spooky. I'm not seeing, okay, whoa, well, that got me something. Oh, it's another pool lever thing. Oh, yeah. Thing we can do with Hagrid. Come on, buddy. There we go, very good. Well, this thing folds up rather nicely. <laughs> Too bad I can't get to the studs in time. Oh well, there we go. So what's going on over here? Oh, there's another piece of something and everything's exploding. Ah, spider, get him out of here, be gone. <laughs> I don't like it. And what is this? A ladder up there, but I can't get up there without a character we don't have, that's fine. I just need to go where we're supposed to go, which looks like it this way. This place is very dusty. There we go. Glad we got out of that creepy hallway. Oh no, it's this guy. He's some fancy schmancy uh, celebrity. And all the girls love him. Draco, what are you doing? You stole that girl's book? You stole Ginny's book? That's rude. Give it back. Uh-oh, oh, that's, that's Ron's dad. Uh-oh. That wasn't hers. That is weird. See ya. So that was, that's Lucius, who's Draco's dad. That was the level complete. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> that was really quick. Alrighty, well the first level is completed. True wizard. Not quite. We'll get there sooner or later. But yeah, we were able to go to Diagon Alley one way or another and get all of the different materials we needed and we were also introduced to that celebrity guy. I forget his name right now. I'm gonna try to remember it. I might look it up between this level and the next because he's actually gonna be important to the story. We'll see in a moment. So his name is Gilderoy Lockhart and he's really silly because he's not that good at magic. He just acts like he is and he makes stuff up and everybody just believes it. Oh, <laughs> they're doing a little conga line into the uh, nine and three quarters. Oh no! Oh gosh, they were too late! Or were they? Maybe it's Dobby again. Oh gosh, what can they do? Well, luckily they have a flying car. It looks like they're gonna keep up with the train that way. Oh my gosh. So if you don't know, Ron's dad is like a big fan of just things that no, non-wizarding people do because a lot of non-wizarding people aren't very familiar with things like cars or things like that because they have rooms and everything. Why would they need a car? So he just made his own flying car just out of a hobby and oh no, they're crashing into a tree. Yikes. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be on the insurance. Oh boy. Now they're in trouble. No, his wand is busted. What can you do with a busted wand? Should have just been there sooner. You would have been able to get on the train, no problem. They're in so much trouble now. The car just drove off. Who knows where it went? So this is the second year for Harry Potter and Ron. It, it, it's not going very well. <laughs> There's some fancy noises out. So here we are. It looks like we gotta get over to the, to the grand ceremony dinner. So that the new first years, oh, we can't quite. Oh, Hermione's here now too, okay. Uh, so that the first years can get their sorting hat thing figured out, just like we did in our first year. So it looks like we need a super strength potion or something. So we'll look around for that for a little bit. There's a rattling treasure chest here. Can I do something about that? Not quite. Okay, good to know. Um, oh, I can do something with this. Oh, it's a skeleton. Maybe he'll give me the skeleton arm I need for the potion. I would hope so. <laughs> of course he dances to the Harry Potter tune. Thank you very much. Hmm. So at least that's one ingredient for the potion. Did it, did it go in? Uh, there you go. And what is this? Okay, it's, it's a vacuum. It's sucking up the plants for some reason. All right, well you do whatever you want. I don't really care as long as we get what we need. Okay, what is it doing? Was that all it needed to do? Oh, it's, it's spitting something out, right? Oh, there it is, okay. We got our piece of the thorny flower. Go on. There you go. And we just need one more thing. Where are we gonna find it? 
Maybe inside of this. Whoa! He's looking scary. Get him. Did that drop you up? There is that 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 fang we need. And put it in there. Perfect. So that should make the potion. We can make somebody super strong. We've done it for Harry and Hermione. Let's do it for Ron. Take a nice drink of that. Probably doesn't taste very good. But whoa, we're gonna do push-ups. Super powerful. So we should be able to run over here now, no problem. And pull this. Let's hope. Looks like it. What is that? It's like a giant clock thing. Are we going, is there a clock tower? And I guess there has to be. What are we doing now? But th was that wrong? I'm very confused. Oh, oh, I see, I see. We're going this way now. I got very turned around there. That was very odd. So where are we going now? Oh, we're back here again. They're still, they've been zapping him for an entire year. <laughs> the poor kid. <laughs> where are we going? I guess maybe we're skipping the whole ceremony. Anyways, uh, Ginny becomes a Gryffindor just like Ron does. That's really the most important thing that happens. And Snape's mean, but that's not a big surprise. So I guess we're just going to a herbology class for year two and learning something. Whatever it may be. Oh, these are the the plants that will scream really loudly. Oh no. Gross. And if you, it, it can make you die apparently if it's loud enough. I don't know, it's really weird. So we gotta go away from him, cover our ears, and press A in front of a wardrobe to get your earmuffs and then you can handle the mandrake safely. Well, look at that. What are you guys laughing about, huh? I don't know. Yeah, now it's not even a problem. Can't even hear him. So I'm just beating all this up. Oh, can I grab you and then yeah, put you in the, in the pot? That's what we gotta do. They're not even doing any of the work over there. Why don't they get in trouble? Grabbing this. Going back down here. Excellent. <laughs> Harry is just breaking stuff by just walking on the table. You're not supposed to be up there, Harry. And here's the last one. And it just goes over here on the other side of the table. Shouldn't it be too big of a deal? Ready and got it. Awesome. Okay, so there's all the mandrakes pot plotted into the ground, or into the plant pot. Mandrake handling unlocked. And we get a gold brick for it. 14 out of 20, not too bad. So that's today's lesson done in herbology. We just need to leave now. Um, Maybe, there we go. What do we gotta do next? I'm gonna guess we have to go down this way. Well, let's find out together. Yep, looks like it. So, where are we going now? What do, you, what do you know, right over here. Okay, I'm yawning, I'm sorry. What can I do about you? I can't handle you until I get the earmuffs. Is there a wardrobe around here? Do we gotta go all the way back to Herbology? Oh no, it looks like there's one over here. So let's get that, just like this. And hopefully that actually gives us, yep, the earmuffs. Very cool. And now I should be able to take care of this thing, no problem. That lesson became very helpful immediately, so that's pretty cool. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. That was not correct. Hold on. I actually have to put you in the plant pot. And we're good. Hooray! Excuse me. Pardon me. I got places to be still. So what is going on this way? We're going up this staircase for now. Lots of places to go in Hogwarts. It's quite large. And now, where are we off to? Oh, over, over this way. <laughs> oh gosh. Is that guy okay up there? Um, looks like we're going this way. Oh yeah, yeah, over here. So how do we break the glass? Oh, I see. Maybe we can break the glass with the screams of the mandrake. To do that, we're gonna have to find another wardrobe. Where may that be? Oh, up this way. I see one. Yep. I guess I'm just gonna give Ron the, the earmuffs every single time this time. That's fine. The other two can do other things. I'm sure they don't mind not having to touch the mandrakes. I'm gonna grab this, and we are gonna go up this way. We need a powerful screech to smash this glass. Yep, I have it, don't you worry. And the plant pot for it is up here too. Very cool. And look who it is! 
the new master of, or not master of dark arts, professor of defense against the dark arts. It is Gilderoy Lockhart. We just saw him just a moment ago. Let's see how good of a teacher he is. Because of course, Quirrell is out of commission from the first year. Oh gosh, we got these evil blues, like pixie things. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but his good idea for a class lesson is to just let them out and go, oh, it's no big deal. See, you can do this. And that, and they're done. So I guess it isn't too bad to get rid of them. Uh-oh, here come the rest of them now. They're not so happy with them. Ah, his hair, his beautiful, beautiful hair. Oh gosh, they're, they're playing monkey in the middle with it. Oh, it's on backwards. <laughs> so he's not happy with that. I think he actually runs away. <laughs> okay, no, he's still there. So remember, you can target objects by holding Y. There we go, so we are using a new spell now to get rid of them. It is um, press A to freeze pixies with Immobilus. Cast them again to finish it off. There you go. That's great. So we wanna get rid of these pixies because they're just, they're always up to no good. There we go. Got it. Oh man, they're everywhere. Okay, now he's impressed. Oh no. And right, now there's a bunch of them. Oh gosh, he's just running away now. He's like, good luck, students. It's all up to you. Okay, let's grab this guy. I wanna do as many of these as I can. Yeah, we gotta get rid of all the pixies. There's five of them in total. There we go, I guess I hit Harry with one. Sorry, I'll play some different characters now. Where's where's Hermione? There you are. No, nope, wrong thing. Uh, I'm missing like crazy. There we go. Awesome, got rid of another one. Only two more left, and they're right here. I missed. Come on, there you go. And then just get this one up that way. If everybody would kindly move. There you go, all the pixies are done. Well, it looks like we saved a day. We stopped uh, the disaster that was Lockhart's class. I don't know, it, just, it was just awful. There we go. So what do we gotta do now? I'm not sure. Looks like he ran off to his office. We should probably find out where to go next. It looks like over here. Okay, no problemo. Hogwarts class lobby. So we were just out here. We're learning lots of stuff today. Handling mandrakes, getting rid of the uh, pixies with Immobilus. It looks like we're actually going over here. Yep, okay. <laughs> Shouldn't it be that big of a deal? Oh, what's going on now? No, not spiders. They have chocolate. No, they're little suitcases. And plants and a bunch of stuff. Oh my. Ah, did you slip on some water? What in the world is that? Oh no, and the kitty was frozen on the wall. Oh yeah, I forgot what this said in the actual book. It said something about, I guess about muggles and stuff, because if, if you don't know, a muggle is like a non-wizarding person, because not everybody is a wizard in Harry Potter world. Poor little kitty, he's all frozen. And, and Draco's blaming it on us? Oh no! That's not how I imagined him looking. Oh, poor kitty, I hope it's gonna be okay. All right, everybody, clear out. Something's going on here. Somebody graffitied the wall. I think it said some like very cryptic stuff. I don't remember what it says. <laughs> Anyways. So it looks like we're supposed to go this way for now. Because that's sort of a big thing in Harry Potter's story is that like Harry Potter was born by wizards. Ron was born by wizards. But Hermione actually, her parents are not wizards. They're just sort of normal people. And to most normal people, I haven't explained this too much, but I'm, I'm sure that most people know. But um to most normal people. Where are we going? Over here? Yeah, okay. Um, they don't know what that wizards exist. It's a big secret, but to some normal people they know because I have relatives that have wizards, but they're supposed to keep it a secret. Okay, so it looks like we're having some kind of Quidditch game now, that's cool. But yeah, uh, Hermione gets sort of bullied a lot because her parents aren't wizards. Am I supposed to go this way? Yeah, look at this, okay. Hermione joins the team. I think it's gonna be Harry. So more Quidditch action is up. It's very important that they win the Quidditch games because there's a whole house cup where you know the house that performs the best wins. 
And it was Gryffindor last year because Harry won the Quidditch Cup. And it looks like hopefully the same thing happens this time. Come on, Harry, let's go. Whoa, be careful. Whoa, watch it. Lord's coming back. Yikes, oh my gosh. So this Bludger's going right for him. It won't let up. This is not how Bludgers are supposed to act. Um, what is going on? This is not right. Watch out, no, the ice cream. It's just going right for him. Oh no, watch it. Ah, oh, it's Dobby again. <laughs> Why is he always up to no good? That's not good at all. Okay, so what do we wanna do about this? Maybe we can raise a flag. Well, we could do that, so we're supposed to. So it looks like Ron, Hermione, and Hagrid are doing something, which is funny because in the original, Hagrid didn't do anything. He was like, oh no, I'm sure it's fine. That's sort of another weird thing about Harry Potter is that the adults don't really do anything. Whenever there's an issue, they just assume everything's fine and the students have to figure it out. It's always very weird, at least in the beginning. Hello. Uh, oh, was that helpful? Oh, there's a bludger right here. Can we get rid of this thing? I don't know. What is this? Oh, there you go, see ya. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way? Oh, there's at least now enough stuff to build. There you go. Oh, come on, go up, there we go. So we're doing pretty well, oh, there's Harry. Hey, can you get out of here? Get out of here, stop that. You're being mean, you're gonna hurt Harry. I don't know why you're doing that. He didn't like that very much, he's teleporting out of here. Don't worry, Hagrid can at least pull this. And that brings down an elevator. Who are these three? I guess they're just like cheerleading wizards. Uh, cool, excuse me. Ah! Uh, places to be, but that's not how I'm supposed to get to them. I just gotta walk by like that. Get out of here! Leave Harry alone! Oh, and we can do this now. The Immobilis. There we go, get rid of you. And then we need Lumos. To get rid of these vines. And there's the snitch, whoa, okay. With that, Harry should be able to finish the game. Oh man, that must have hurt. Hope they're okay. So what's going on with this? We gotta make a staircase. We're still trying to catch up with Dobby. Dobby is a house elf, by the way. There's like so much the game doesn't explain. Dobby is a house elf, which basically house elves just do what the description says. You know, they take care of the house. I guess most wizards have one. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Hey, you get back here, I was supposed to hit you. Did I miss out my chance? What do I do now? Oh, I see. I can go up here and do that. Awesome. So we're still going through the stands, trying to catch up with him. Here he is, blast him. That was at least good. Come on, he's not very happy about that. And now he's over there. Something's over there. Let's switch back to Hagrid. What in the world is this thing? Just another gargoyle, gotcha. What is he gonna do? He's just gonna leave. All right, see ya. I guess that was something. Oh, but now we can use these blocks down this way. Gotcha, so we could put this here. Hold on. And maybe put that right on top of it. And we should be able to hop on top of that and then hop on top of that and we're good. What's going on with this? No, not that one, the other one. Yeah, that one. Dobby, get out here. What are you doing? I'm gonna hit you with whatever this thing is. No, I'm not. And now you're over there. Are you just hiding in that barrel? What a coward. Will this make a bridge for us? No, that's another picture. <laughs> okay, not quite what I was looking for. Yeah, let's see the Lumos to get this stuff back. I can't open that though. So I don't know how helpful that was. Oh, I'm trying to get the help from the picture. It's not doing much though. Maybe I'm just supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to do this. So let's stop these guys. Oh, no, 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 not what I wanted. Yikes, sorry, Hermione. And let's go into this barrel. Come on out here, Dobby. Uh, do I need to levitate it? Go, oh, come on. That's a pumpkin. There he is, be gone. Stop beating up Harry. He's trying to play Quidditch. Uh-oh, guess he's out of juice. I don't know what was happening there. Come on, Harry, you can do it! Yeah, he won! 
Oh no, watch it! Come on, catch it! Yikes. Oh, he might be hurt. <laughs> oh no. Whoa. Oh, is his hand broken? Oh no! He broke it more! <laughs> Come on, Lockhart! So what actually ended up happening there is Harry broke his arm on the fall, and then Lockhart tries to fix it and instead removes all of the bones in his arm. Very weird and very gross. And I guess uh, he has to be treated at the infirmary for now. And oh, look at this, we actually get to play as uh, Madame Pomfrey. Weird. I guess she can just pick them up without any earmuffs. That's weird, but okay. Very accomplished she is. I don't know what i do with it for right now, so I'm just gonna leave it be. I need to find a plant pot somewhere. I don't see one for right now. So I'm just trying to avoid it. Huh. Oh wait, uh, I can fix that little bed. That's good. Where, where am I supposed to go? Oh, here we go, maybe this. Madame Puffrey can use spells, oh, that students don't learn until a later year. Well, that's good. I mean, that would make sense. She is supposed to be an adult. I guess she would know more stuff. <laughs> can just make it scream at Harry. It's not what we want. We instead wanted to go over here. Is this Draco? I guess he got hurt for something. I don't know. There we go. And that's a part of the potion. Okay, excuse me. So I need to break this if it'll let me. It won't. This is weird. Oh, maybe Madame Pomfrey can do something. So she can do dig? Whoa, that's not right. So what can she do? She can do Wingardium Leviosa, Luma Solum, Immobilis, Ridiculous, Expecto Patronum, Reducto, and Expelliarmus slash Transfiguration. I think we need to do Reducto. Maybe. I don't know what's happening here. Why, why can't I grab the plant? Oh, I just have to press A. Okay, I'm, I'm being silly. There we go. So put that in there. And where else are we supposed to go? So we need to find two more ingredients around here. This is a bit weird. There's definitely gotta be something nearby. Oh, here we go, we can levitate this chair. Just like this, <laughs> see ya. And what will this be? It's another little statue thing. He's gonna open the door up. Okay, am I supposed just to leave? Wait, really? See you, Harry. Get well soon. I don't know if I was supposed to leave just yet, but Hermione can definitely do something with these books. Yep. Stars, potion, moon, hat. I can do that. Got it. And as you can see, we get a bunch of stuff. Is this a little, I think this is a little film thing. No, it's not, it's a wheelchair. <laughs> Whoops, okay. And we can ride the wheelchair for one reason or another. This is all very unproductive. It's just not actually doing what I needed to do. So what's going on here? I don't know, beats me. We can get rid of this purple thing. Okay, there's the spider. Gotcha, so this actually was worthwhile. Do that again and get the spider. So we are still looking for the fang. So if we see anything, actually no, we're looking for the, the bone arm. What am I talking about? Yeah, uh, this is like a new potion, which maybe has to do with that. So yeah, there's the skull right here. So if I can figure this out now, yeah, I need to levitate the skull onto the skeleton and maybe he'll be happy enough to give me his arm. <laughs> He's just dancing around on top of this guy who's like clearly in pain. And now he's not happy. <laughs> he is very unhappy. Oh gosh. Yikes. Let's grab that real quick, and we should be able to finish the potion with that. There we go. So now we have all of the healing potion we need for Harry. Hopefully this will fix up his arm nice and good. Yeah. But it worked, look at that, good as new. <laughs> nice and healthy, he's cured. 
Uh-oh. Oh, what happened? He got frozen. Oh no, somebody froze him with that spell, I guess. I'm a little confused, but that's not good. Anyways, the level's complete, free play is unlocked. That was pretty cool. So Harry was able to win the Quidditch game, but in the process broke his arm. Dobby is still trying to infiltrate things and making a big mess of everything. We're gonna have to figure that out at some point or another. But I, So at this point, I think that the first two episodes we did three levels, but the levels are starting to get a little bit longer. So I think that starting in today's episode, maybe we'll just do two levels an episode, just because it started to get a little crazy doing an hour worth of Lego action in just one episode. So we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, I think that we'll just start doing that. We'll just start doing two levels an episode so that is not as crazy long. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Before you go, be sure you comment Zebra Dobby so you have watched the end of you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.